So I am super excited for today's video because it is actually going to be my first ever back to school video. I didn't actually do any last year and it's going to be a DIY for back to school supplies. So I am super excited about it and I hope that you guys are as well. Everything that I've made in this video is actually super easy to make and not time consuming at all. So you guys should definitely try and make these. So this video is also super exciting because it is a collab as well and it's a collab with Lauren Lace DIY. She's also super sweet and she also has like the most awesome accents. I'll have all of her links and her info on the screen so you guys can click on the screen or also check the description box down below and I'll have links to her channel and her video as well. Hey guys, my name is Lauren from Lauren Lace DIY. If you haven't seen my face before, it means you're probably not subscribed to me, which you should be. I'm so happy to finally be collabing with Ashley. This week on my channel, I am doing back to school DIY notebooks. So if you guys would like to check them out, make sure you click the link that is down in the description bar. If you have come from my channel, make sure you subscribe to Ashley because she has some amazing videos. I hope you enjoy guys. See you over at my channel. Bye. Also leave me a comment down below letting me know which DIY out of all of them was your favorite one. Also, if you guys are new to my channel or have never seen one of my videos, or you have and you just haven't subscribed yet, then you definitely need to make sure to go ahead and do that. So you can go ahead and click the button down below. I will also have it linked on the screen so you guys can click that as well. And if you do like this video and love DIY videos, then make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Well, without further ado, let's just get into the video. pretty sure that this is my favorite DIY out of the whole video. That is why I am putting it first in this video. So taking some sort of pan or garbage bag, you're going to want to spray your shaving cream all out on top of that. And then you're just going to want to mush it around so that there's no holes in there. And after you have finished that, you're just going to want to put some blobs of paint all over the shaving cream and then using your finger or a Q-tip or a knife or a toothpick or basically whatever, you're gonna mix around the paint in the shaving cream so you basically get this like marbly kind of effect going on, almost like watercolor looking waves-ish thing. And you're gonna wanna do that till you have most of the paint mixed up so that there isn't any big globs of it. Now with the backpack, you're going to dip that into the shaving cream and paint mixture that you made and make sure to press down firmly so that you get in between all of the areas of the backpack because it had a pocket. I wanted to make sure that I got the sides as well. So I just pushed it down pretty firmly. And I also used a cream colored backpack because I figured the paint would show up the best on that. You could also do multiple colors of paint, but I just went with one color and I really like the way that it turned out. After that, you're just going to lift your backpack up off of the shaving cream and you're going to have a bunch still stuck to the fabric, but just make sure to scrape that all off and then the rest will just dry on its own. If you can, try and find a shaving cream that is non-scented because otherwise your backpack will stay smelling like that shaving cream and I bought one that was like a man's shaving cream and now it smells like a man, so yeah. <laughs> And guys, I am totally not joking when I say this is actually my favorite thing I've ever DIY'd. Like, ever. I love this so much and I cannot wait to use it. So the next thing that we're gonna make is this super cute gold triangle binder. And it basically looks super like expensive, but all you need is some spray paint and like a binder from the dollar store. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do if your binder has any like a plastic sheet over top, take that off so that the spray paint will actually stick to the binder because it'll just come off the plastic if you leave it on there. And then I just took some painter's tape and I just cut up a bunch of strips into different sizes and laid them out so that there was a bunch of triangles all over there. And I just laid them out in a super random pattern, just making sure that I pressed everything down so that no paint would get under the tape and then I just went ahead and spray painted it outside and I used metallic gold and you guys could use any color you want I mean there's copper there's silver or you could just do like a super fun color and then once that was all dry I just went ahead and peeled off all the tape and then this was the finished result and I love how this turned out I think it is so cool and unique Plus, I think it makes the binder look like it is way more expensive than it actually was when it only costed you about a dollar from the dollar store. So 
next thing I'm making is a super awesome clipboard organizer. So I've seen these a lot like everywhere, but I really wanted to make my own. So I just got some craft paper and then cut that down to size. And I also found this super cool grid paper. I don't know if it's paper, but anyways, I put that on top of it and I love the way that it looks. I feel like it looks so much more like Tumblr-y and Pinterest-y. I don't know. I love it. And then I printed out this calendar and put that on there as well as a few pictures from my Instagram and made them look like Polaroids because I thought it looked super cute. But you could also put like a to-do list on there or a notepad or some extra desk things you may have. I love the way that this turned out and I think the main reason I love it is because of the grid patterned paper stuff that I got and yeah, I think it just makes it look so cool. So I was actually inspired by a notebook that I had seen online on a website to make this metallic design on this notebook. So I'm super excited about how this turned out. And it was such a simple concept for the notebook that I figured I could just DIY it myself. So taking this plain notebook, I just painted the cover a light pink color. I also just made sure to cover the spine with some painter's tape so that it didn't get all covered in paint and left it nice and clean. And after the paint is dry, then you can start creating your design on it. Now taking this metallic -y rose gold colored pen that I bought from the dollar store, I'm just gonna start creating my design on top of my notebook. Using Google, I just went on there to look up a few different design ideas. So I looked up doodle designs and you guys could basically do whatever design you want. Like you could do polka dots or stripes or triangles or like a grid print. But like I said, I went with a doodle design and I love the way that this turned out and like I said also like you're using a marker so you can basically do whatever you want and draw whatever you want on it I mean if you're a super talented artist go ahead and draw something fancy on there the design is all up to you you could also do the whole cover if you wanted but I just did the bottom corner because I thought that it looked cool that way and then that also left space that I could write something on the notebook so I decided to write take note on it and I mean you guys could virtually write anything you want you could put your name or like another cute saying First, I just traced it out in pencil so that I made sure that everything looked okay and that it wasn't like crooked or anything. And then I just went over it with my marker again and I love the way that this turned out, guys. I seriously think it looks so cute. And now the last thing to do is just to peel off that painter's tape. I got the tricks if you wanna lock. I am so happy with the quality of this paint pen and I think it is seriously going to be my new favorite thing to DIY stuff with. That was it for today's video guys and I hope that you did enjoy it and I hope that you do try some of these DIYs out because I'm telling you they are super easy and they are such simple things to do that will just jazz up your school supplies making you the person who has the coolest school supplies in the school. And like I said before don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and also subscribe down below. I also have some super exciting videos coming up in the next like couple weeks or week ish so definitely make sure to subscribe so that you do not miss those that is all i have to say so i will see you guys in my next video bye your school plot but what ha. <laughs> and there's such what <laughs> my clothes i look bad at that clothes i can't speak today the best school what you got what you got do with that dessert do what do i need that do what do that do that do what?